Hi again. Today I want to show you how to use height maps. A height map is, well, basically just a simple picture, a black and white picture that shows in a plane, for example, what it's supposed to look like. Well, I can't find the right words for that, but just watch and see what happens. Now, first we're going to start with Blender, of course. You got the simple uh, default cube. Delete that. Press the spacebar, add mesh plane. Going to zoom in a little here and press the subdivide button in the editing panel under mesh tools. Click it a few times. If your PC is too slow, don't do this too often like I did. You could even do it more often if your PC can handle. It's no problem. I just think this is enough. Then go into the shaders panel. Add a new texture. Add a new, yeah, okay. Then into the texture buttons. Add a new texture. And change it. Well, you could already have your height map set up with a graphics program. You could even do it with paint. Or you can do, um, yeah, do with whatever you want. But you can also generate it in Blender. So I'm just going to, on image type, uh, texture type, I'm going to check clouds. I get this preview over here. And I can change the noise size to whatever I want. I'm going to put the hard noise, the noise depth to 6. And you can see what this looks like over here. And I want to explain to you what, how exactly this works. The white, um, the wider this part of the the height map or this texture, the higher your terrain will. Terrain will well, I don't know. So sorry. The higher it will be on your plane. So if this is pure white, it'll go the highest, and if it's pure black, it'll stay at the bottom. And if it's somewhere in between, like here, it'll just like. From here to here, it'll work like a gradient almost. We can see that later. Now I'm going to go back into the viewport here. Um, with the num keys on my numpad, with the two and a fi two and five, I just adjusted my view a little. And I'm going to go back into the editing panel and click the noise button. Now after clicking it once or twice, you can already see that something has happened. It's adjusting it to that height map. And I can click it a few more times until it's really starting to look like something. Now I kind of press the tab key to go out of edit mode. And there you can see that height map. And back here is the spot I just wanted to show you earlier. Nah, should I find the right view? From up here it slowly goes down to here. To this here. Down here was kind of really black. Up here it was white. Almost pure white. You can see from the side that over there was probably the whitest spot. Yeah, and height maps are really useful if you want to create um, or generate landscapes. You could just, with Photoshop or GIMP, just generate um, a cool looking height map. <laughs> and so you have your mountains in there and you could save the height map and use it anytime again. It's just to have the picture there. To use the height map for a picture, just go in here in Arbing mode. Instead of texture type, choose image and just load your image over here. That works the same. And you could also just generate a, um, a city with this. Just, For example, in paint, just draw white squares on a black background. So they're really sharp white. There's no gray in between. And then if you use that as a height map and click the noise button, just squares would pop out of this black then. Yeah, that concludes the tutorial on height maps. Thanks for watching.